Hello guys, welcome back to another Roblox UDC Limited Events video. In today's video, we're going to be playing an event which I haven't seen any other event YouTubers cover yet. So I guess this one is not that popular. I don't know why though, because the Limiteds look reasonable and the stock is pretty good. So yes, in today's video, we are playing the Wimbledon event. Wimbledon Tennis, for those of you which don't know. There's a high chance you've probably played this game before though. They've had a few events over the years. So the first prize we can possibly get is the Emirates Aura. So I guess Wimbledon done a, a collab here with Emirates. I think this item's kind of cool actually it's like an airplane waste accessory with some little clouds added in this is what it looks like in the roblox avatar so um yeah not too bad the stock on this one's actually insane 22k left so maybe we can try and get it the second prize actually i really like this one the wimbledon umbrella hat yeah if you're going to watch wimbledon my little cousin went to watch it the other day actually you're gonna need this because it's like a really uh, rainy and wet summer here in the uk it just won't stop raining which personally i quite like to be honest this thing is awesome though that's sick it kind of looks like an old medieval jester hat at the same time 13k left on this one. I'm gonna try and get this. This one's really awesome. Then we have the Emirates airplane cap. Uh, this one is pretty unique. I can see what they've done here. They've tried to turn a cap into an airplane. I like it. It's uh, quite hilarious, actually. 24k stock left on this one. We also have an Emirates bear shoulder pet. So just like a little teddy bear shoulder accessory thing. 27k stock left. This one's kind of nice. There is quite a few UGC accessories over on their group, so potentially they're gonna add more. But let's go and get the current stuff anyway. Sorry to link to the game will be down below in the video's description. Wimble World Tennis. Yep, do you guys remember this? I've probably been doing videos on this for about exactly a year now. So yeah, let's go and jump into the game. Okay, so let's get the UGC. So Wimbledon revamped. Let's click on got it. I think they've like uh, revamped the whole game. There's new mini games and everything. So the first UGC we're going to get. Oh, one of them's already sold out. I didn't know about that. And one of them comes in a few days and we're going to get the Wimbledon umbrella hat. So complete a scavenger hunt, return 30 shots in the cannon mini game and play for 20 minutes straight. Okay, so that's not really that difficult. The Canon mini game, it looks like I've already done a little bit of that. Then we've got the other UGCs as well. Um, we'll probably get the Umbrella first, but these ones are the tournament ones. So you get points by defeating NPCs in the tournaments. They're just like your bots, basically. And then you get points, you exchange them for prizes. But let's do the Umbrella one first, because this one is the easiest. And of course, the stock's going relatively quick. So you want to make sure you get this one. We are going to do the Pigeon Scavenger Hunt. So six pigeons, there you go. There's number one over by the scoreboard thing. And then you just want to walk around the corner here and there should be another pigeon in the lawn area where it says lawn of champions so that'd be pigeon number two then if you guys just carry on following me just go through here go into the main area again you should be able to find one of the pigeons by the umbrella and the benches and the little hedges then if you carry on walking this way up to the water fountain that will be your fourth pigeon and then if you go into the emirates area there should also be one on the picnic blanket so if you're just going to collect this one that's going to be five out of six we only need to get one more and the final one guys you should be able to find that in this shop i'm pretty sure the locations are the same for everyone so just go to the wimbledon shop you can find at number six in here and that guys that's it that's the scavenger hunt done yeah it's literally so easy so after doing this scavenger hunt what we're going to do is the cannon mini game thing so you just want to go and join one of the matches it's going to give you a few options you want to choose cannon practice then just go and play match and what you're going to do guys is wait for it to start and you just want to return the ball by clicking uh, you can do either mouse click so left or right for different options and then space bar for top spin all of them are basically returning the ball so as you can see i failed there so i just went and played it again and yeah uh we just need to do this how many times was it i think it was uh 30 times right so yeah i'm just gonna do this 30 times i'll do a jump cut when i'm done pretty much okay so i think this should be my last one well i've already done 30 so i'm gonna let that go past and there you go so that is all 30 hits so we should have done two now we've done the pigeon scavenger hunt we've done the 30 hits on the uh, cannon mini game thing so as you guys can see they are ticked off the last one guys is play for 20 minutes and to use up that time i think we should probably do the ugc tournament thing the uh, emirates tournament so as you can see various different prizes worth different amounts of points the fourth and final one not unlocked just yet so i'll get the cap and um yeah we're just gonna go and play matches so pretty much how it works guys you just battle these npcs in like a tennis match 1v1 and each time you defeat one you're gonna get a little bit of points and if you get to level 10 like you defeat all of your 10 npc opponents then you get 1000 points so just by playing through all of them you should definitely get enough points for the cap i think you're probably going to have to play it a few times if you want to get the other stuff because obviously you're going to need to double your points and yeah that's pretty much it the only thing i would say you need to focus on are these little yellow and red power up things which sometimes pop up around the map if you guys go and collect those they give you like power shots and the power shots are really good you just do space bar and you can pretty much defeat your opponent like 
really easily. There is a technique to it for sure. Uh, you can time your hits well to get like perfect. As you probably noticed for me, most of them say late because I'm an idiot and I'm not timing it very well. But um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just going to jump to level 10 straight away because you guys don't need to see me play through all of this. You know, it's pretty, it's just the same stuff every time really. So there you go. The last guy, Muscle Mike, a pretty menacing looking tennis player. So um, yeah, I didn't actually lose any of these matches, which is kind of funny. They make it sound difficult, but it's not. So congratulations. I just did a jump cut to winning. I got 1000 points. And then of course I got the 675 points just from defeating the other opponents. So as you can see, I could play for it again to get another 1000 points or it'd pretty much double my score, right? So I'd get loads of points. But let's go and claim the umbrella because we've now been playing for 20 minutes. So would you like the Wimbledon umbrella hat? Yes, of course, this one is pretty cool. And then obviously guys, don't forget a cap. So I'm on 1675. So this one costs 1500. That's fine. I'm just going to have 175 points left, but I don't really care. I think this item's quite cool, actually. So there you go. All my points have gone pretty much. But anyway, we got two free pretty cool UDC items. There we are. We've got the airplane cap and also the umbrella hat. I actually quite like these accessories. Very easy to get as well.